Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will discuss about wideband frequency modulation with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. See, in this video, first of all, I will discuss about basics of WBFM. After that, I will explain basal function table with respect to modulation index. After that, I will explain WBFM generation. Here I will discuss about two different methods. One is direct method and second is indirect method. And at last I will discuss about applications of WBFM. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of WBFM. See WBFM means wide band frequency modulation. So here we will be having wide bandwidth with FM signal. And to have wide bandwidth with FM signal modulation index that should be greater than one. This is very essential point. You need to note it down with WBFM modulation index is greater than one. Modulation index is a ratio of frequency deviation to the frequency of message signal. This M of F that is greater than one for WBFM. For wideband frequency modulation bandwidth will be several times of message bandwidth. If I say message bandwidth is FM, then with WBFM, we will be having several times of the bandwidth of message signal. And that bandwidth is depending on value of modulation index. But obviously it is greater than one. But as it is greater than one, how many times bandwidth is there that one can understand based on equation of frequency modulation. See in my earlier theory videos, I have discussed about equation of frequency modulation. If we have carrier signal that is VC sine of omega CT and message signal that is VM cos of omega MT, then FM signal is VC sine of omega CT plus MF into sine of omega MT. See here, if you have carrier signal that is sine over here. Then with FM signal here, we will be having sine. If you have cos over here, then here we will be having cos. In message signal, if you have cos here, then here there will be sine. And if you have sine over here, then here there will be cos, right? So this is what you should take care of. Here M of F that is modulation index. And this standard FM signal that one can represent in form of basal function. Let me show it to you. See this FM signal that I have represented in form of basal coefficients. Here we have J0, J1, J2, J3, J4. So these are basal coefficient and value of this basal coefficient that is depending on modulation index. If you carefully observe this equation, then See here we have total amplitude that is VC into along with sine of omega CT means along with carrier. Here we have Bessel's function that is J0. If you observe here we have J1 that is multiplied with first sidebands. In first sideband, upper sideband is having frequency omega C plus omega M and with first sideband, lower sideband frequency is omega C minus omega M. If you carefully observe, here we have J2. That is Bessel's coefficient for second sidebands. With second sidebands, upper sideband frequency is omega C plus 2 omega M. And lower sideband is having frequency omega C minus 2 omega M. Likewise, J3 is associated with third sideband. J4 is associated with fourth sideband. So here, how many sidebands are there? That is depending on Bessel's coefficient. And value of Bessel's coefficient, that is purely depending on modulation index, right? You should remember this. See, with WBFM, modulation index is greater than one. As modulation index is greater than one, in FM signal, here we will be having more Bessel's coefficient, right? So here if you observe, see with WBFM, modulation index is greater than 1. So Bessel's function coefficient J of n, that is having more elements. If you have more elements over here, then what will happen? If you have more elements over here, 
then overall bandwidth that will increase. If you have only J1, then we have first side bands only means we have omega C plus omega M and omega C minus omega M means in total bandwidth will be 2 omega M. If you have J0, J1 and J2, then here we have first side band and second side band. In that case, overall bandwidth will be having 2 omega m and 2 omega m means 4 omega m, right? So likewise, as you increase number of coefficients, overall bandwidth of FM signal will increase. And that one can understand based on Bessel's coefficient table. So here we have Bessel function table with respect to modulation index. Vertically, you can observe here we have modulation index, right? See in WBFM, modulation index is greater than 1. So you can observe here we have modulation index 1. After that, if you increase the value of modulation index, what is happening? Number of coefficients are increasing. See horizontally, here we have carrier means J0 coefficient. Here we have J1, then J2, J3, J4, J5, J6. That is how coefficients are there. As you increase modulation index, you can observe coefficients are increasing, right? And as coefficients are increasing, what will happen? Overall bandwidth will increase. So with WBFM, with wideband frequency modulation, modulation index is greater than 1. That leads to wider bandwidth. Why the reason is more Boesel's coefficients that is getting added due to higher value of modulation index, right? Now let me discuss about generation of WBFM. So first of all, I will discuss about first method that is direct method. See in direct method, we will be using VCO, voltage control oscillator. Here oscillation frequency of VCO, that is depending on message signal. So output frequency over here, that is directly proportional to message signal and that will be generating WBFM signal, right? So as message signal amplitude changes, output frequency will change over here, right? So VCO is producing frequency that is proportional to input message signal. Output frequency over here, that will be FC plus KF into MT, right? So this is direct method. Now see in indirect method, what I'll be doing is, I'll be using NBFM modulator. In my last video, I have discussed about NBFM, narrowband frequency modulator. With NBFM modulator, two inputs are there. One is message signal and second is carrier. And that will be generating narrowband frequency modulated signal. And this NBFM signal that we give it to frequency multiplier, this frequency multiplier that will be multiplying number with frequency of input signal if you multiply frequency in terms of number with input signal, then it will be generating higher frequency. Means here we will be having wideband FM signal, right? So frequency multiplier produces a signal whose frequency is n times of input frequency. If you multiply n over here, then bandwidth will increase by n over here. Means we'll be having wideband, right? So this is how two methods are there. Now let me discuss about applications of WBFM. See, first and popular application is FM radio broadcast. FM radio broadcast that we use it from the frequency of 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz. If you talk about one channel, then for one channel, frequency deviation is 75 kilohertz. So for one channel here, frequency deviation is 75 kilohertz. If you say audio band is having frequency of 15 kilohertz, then how many in total bands are there? 75 divided by 15 means 5. So I told you, see here with WBFM, bandwidth of output signal is several times of bandwidth of message signal. Here message signal is audio band that is having bandwidth of 15 kilohertz. Total frequency deviation with WBFM of one channel is 75 kilohertz. So how many bands are there? Five bands are there, right? See second application that is there with high fidelity audio system. See high fidelity audio system that we need it in case of 
signal transmission with higher noise immunity. If you want higher noise immunity, then you need more bandwidth. Along with more bandwidth, one can transmit multiple bands. If you transmit multiple bands, then there will be higher noise immunity, right? See, third application is based on satellite communication. In satellite communication, along with voice communication also, one can use WBFM. And last application, that is there with telemetry. If you want large data range, then one can use WBFM. So that is how multiple applications are there with WBFM. I hope you have enjoyed this. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.